Hello everyone, this is Monstrous Meatman, and welcome to my Minecraft Xbox 360 tutorial on how to make a six digit combination lock. As you can see, the door is closed, and these are my digits to open it. Two, five, two, six, three, four, and then the door opens, and to reset it, you press that button. As you can see, like, the reset button is wired to the door, but if you press the reset button when it's closed, the door won't open because of that um, piece of redstone that's on. So, now all we have to do is do the tutorial. So what you'll need is some building materials. I'm going to use red wool, lime wool, and some gray wool. And you'll need redstone, redstone torches, redstone repeaters, note blocks, buttons, and levers. So what you do is you make a, the keypad first, which is two rows of three, like so, and place buttons on one side. Oh, sorry, guys. So buttons on one side, and torches on the other. Now we have to wire each redstone torch independently to its own repeater. So... What you do is you place blocks like that, redstone on top of them, and this and and this is the this part can get kind of tricky wiring the the um torch in the top row in the middle. So what you do is you place blocks on top of those torches, a repeater here to stop that torch from interfering with it. That would affect it, as you can see. So, a repeater there prevents that. And that redstone lets this torch power it. And then, you bring this so it's one block um, more to the left than that block. And so, now what you do is... You place redstone going like that. And don't place it on the block there. Because a repeater is going to be there. So now what you do is... You place repeaters there. And there. And then... There. Because this has two repeaters worth of delay. Like two ticks of delay. That one and that one. Um, these have three and three, three, um, repeaters worth of delay, so you can't really minim make, um, it smaller, so you have to increase this, so just tick this one or that one once, doesn't really matter. Now, for our, for our note blocks, which is going to be lime wool, like, you'll, you'll need a total of six rows of, re six repeaters, so that's one full row, two rows, three rows, four rows, five rows, six rows, and then you'll need two more, because six are for the actual combination lock itself, and um, the other two are for the note blocks to give it a little sound. So that's for the note blocks. Redstone torches there. And note blocks on top of them. Okay, now, in between the repeaters, 
we're gonna want to dig two down and to the length of the repeaters so that's to the length of them and then do the same thing to the end And one more here. So you should have a total of six holes. So that's one, two, three, four, five, and six. So now, so, and then with, with blocks, you put them on top of the holes without filling in the holes because some a tr some redstone's going to be in, on them. Okay. And these are also going to need redstone torches. Okay, so this is what we should have now. So now in front of the, the red bowl in this case, you make holes that are one down. Um, and this is the, and um, later on, we're gonna get to the part of allowing the right combo in. So with um, redstone, you're gonna make a pattern that goes like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three. And at the end of these, you're gonna wanna put repeaters with, with no ticks of delay, only one because, it's there, because they're repeaters. So now, with with blocks, you make a pattern like one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, three, four, and three. And now, in between here, we're gonna place some blocks. And so this is what we should have so far. And now with redstone torches, you place them in between these blocks and in between here, in between these blocks, you're gonna wanna place some more torches and place some redstone torches here. So now we're gonna make another pattern that goes like one, two, one, two, three, one, two, one, two, three, one, two. So that's how it should look. And then on the first block, you're gonna place redstone. And on the remaining blocks, you're gonna wanna place some repeaters. And then you're gonna wanna place redstone here, here, and like here. And then just toss, toss blocks over the ones that are more closer to this side. So it should look like this now.
and now with reds and and, and um the reason why we put the blocks on top of there is to stop this redstone from connecting to it as you can see that could connect to there and then it cause cause problems so just place redstone um like so And you'll notice that, um, oh yeah, guys, I forgot. You have, you have to do that also in there. So you'll notice that, um, that torch is always on. And that is because it's just, like, not being powered off. Like, that's being powered off by that. That's being powered off by that. That's being powered off by that, that's by that, that's being powered off by that. And the reason why the, tor the torches are off and the redstone's on is because torches invert the redstone signal. So now, um, with blocks, place a block in front of every redstone torch on this side. And place blocks like this in front of them and blocks on top of them. And destroy those and destroy just the blocks in the corner, I meant. And then you place repeaters down here. Redstone here. And. And torches here. And torches like this. And that allows it to reset. And now what you do, it, for the resets, you place blocks like this and torches here. Okay, so now for the reset lines, you place blocks on top of the last two pieces of redstone and so it should be like that and do not and don't destroy those corners so then you place redstone here and torches here so that allows it to reset So now, you're going to want to bring these blocks just over these redstone torches. And, and place repeaters on top of the blocks with the torches. And we're putting that instead of redstone because the torch would power through the block. So the repeaters prevent that. And make sure they're facing that way because it's going to be resetted from those torches. Redstone. Okay. And now I'm going to want to bring these blocks over the redstone torches.
So now we're going to want to place redstone going all the way across here. Okay, so now all we want to do is is put in our code. So this is going to be like the part where you're allowing the right code in. So now I want my first digit to be a to be a 6. So flip that lever. So six is on on that part. So on the last um row, we're gonna take take remove that block and make a trail of redstone going up here. And and don't replace um that torch that I just broke because um then the um combo lock will not be able to allow the right combination in. So I want my second digit to be a five. So five is is the is the torch that's on. Redstone and a block. And I want my third one to be a six. So on the third row from the last. Redstone going here. Okay. So that's six, five, six. I'm gonna do a three. <laughs> Sorry, this is a two. So two's on that outside edge. So fourth, fourth row from the last, because this is the fourth digit. Make a trail of redstone going here. Like this. So it's six, five, six, two. And then I'm going to do a one and then a three. So, so one, and Three is there. Okay, so then you replace that block. 
And now, we'll test it out. So first, replace all the levers with buttons. So my combo is six, five, six, two, one, and three. And this torch that just lit up, that's our output. And that's where you wanna hook up your door or whatever you wanna do. And put a repeater there. I like having mine on a delay because then you get time to like walk over to the door and then it'll open. So, so I'll put some repeaters there. So the block there. A torch there and your iron door probably here oh yeah and guys this is the door when it's open and to close it now there's really no way to close it the way to close it is you put a button there it'll close it but um, you can see that the reset button is hooked up to the door, but if you push it while the door is closed, um, the door won't open because that bit of redstone next to it is on. So I really hope you enjoyed this, guys. Please rate, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!